All right, today is Monday the 31st. It's New Year's Eve. It's about 7 o'clock. Uh, just finished up for the evening out here. Um, my transmission pan came in, so I put that on. I mean, pretty straightforward. Uh, just got one with a drain plug. Um, I mean, there's people online that say, you know, never use a sealant. There's people that swear they use sealant. It's if you're trying to find the answer to that, you're, you're never going to find the, the answer or what people claim the right answer. So what I did was I just put a little bit of sealant. Um, but being on this little engine stand right here makes it really easy to work with. Everything's nice and clean. I put my dipstick in. Uh, right now it's just a little storage cap. And then I put my uh, kick down cable. So transmission's ready to go. I just need the yoke and speedometer cable still. Um, then I started, actually yesterday, I put, I put my foil insulation down, uh, put it, got it up under the firewall pretty good, back here pretty good, I mean, it's pretty straightforward, just a little bit of spray glue, and then, uh, lay it down, and then, uh, some foil tape. And that was pretty pretty much it. And then I moved to the to the back stainless. Um, we got all that on. Uh, man, what a I wouldn't say a nightmare, but it almost turned into one. So you pop the window one on first. I, pol I, I polish these. I run these on the buffer just real quick. I didn't really do any sanding on them. Just kind of hit them on the buffer. But anyways, pop this one on first because it has this little belt looking clip right there that kind of finished it off. So you pop this one on first and you pop the other side. <clears throat> well, the problem was that the, the clip I put was on this, this piece. So this piece was locked down. This piece, the next clip was like three inches that way. So this molding was lifting and it wouldn't let, you know, it wouldn't sit in. So, uh, man, I, I thought about gluing it but you try to tape it down and it was too much pressure that the tape wasn't holding it for the glue to dry overnight. So, and I was gonna remove the molding, which I really, really, really didn't wanna do because I didn't wanna risk chipping any of the paint around the edge here. So, uh, I mean, I'm sitting here, sitting out here sweating and it's like 50 degrees because this, it's not going, it's going exactly how I didn't want it to go. Um, but then it dawned on me that I only lacked about maybe two, maybe inch and a half. So I was able to tap the clip from inside the car, tap, 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 to this side of the molding. And then this, this one popped up. And then when you tap this one down, it locked into the, into the clip and finished it off and it saved the day. So it worked out good. Didn't have to pop anything off. Um, it all fits pretty good. It's original stainless. And then I, uh, I put this middle one on, polished that, put the middle one on, then I put these corner pieces on, and then I threw the package tray in there, which is the same because this was brand new in the wrapper from the 90s, I'm sure, and it has a scuff on the package tray. So I might try and dye that maybe. So the back end stainless is done. Uh, like I say, I ran a buffer, ran the buffer over all this stuff. Uh, it's getting there. I was gonna throw the antenna on, but uh, it's not as nice as I thought it was, so I'm gonna get a new antenna. Um, so the back window is pretty much complete. Um, all the back end needs is uh, antenna and bumper put on, which I have the bumper. It's already it's already plated and assembled, so it just need to be bolted on. Um, and the back end is done. The back half of the car would be done. Uh, move on to the door. Actually, I'm going to do the, the front windshield stainless next and the roof rail and then uh, then the door glass, then the interior. So it's getting there. I put the foil down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run the wires um, between the foil insulation and the uh, carpet. So it's getting there. Um, like I say, it's New Year's Eve 2018, wrapping up the year. Um, I think I started this car in May. I think I got it in April, maybe. I started messing with it, I believe, in May. 
So it's been a really good year to finish it out. Hope everyone's enjoying their New Year's Eve out. Maybe you guys can catch this in the morning, um, but stay tuned for more progress.